So section 46, distributions must be authorized by the board, okay? Because a distribution is affecting a shareholder. Guys, I want you to go and have a look at the distribution definition right at the definition section of the Companies Act. Here it says, a distribution is a transfer by a company of money or other property of the company other than its own shares, so we're not dealing with shares here, but it is to or for the benefit of the holders of shares of the company. Okay, so any distribution that is affecting shareholders, and then it gives you examples like dividends, like capitalization shares, if they don't take the shares, but they actually take payment instead. So remember capitalization shares are free shares? So if the person says, I don't want the free shares, rather give me the money that would be represented by those shares, you've got a distribution. Because remember, if it was the shares itself, it doesn't meet this definition because it says other than shares. Okay? If it's consideration for the acquisition of the company shares, or by any company within the same group's shares. So ultimately it's saying here, if it is a share buyback, it is considered a distribution. Or incurrence of debt on behalf of a shareholder. Or forgiveness or wavering of debt for a shareholder. Okay, so it has to be affecting a shareholder for it to be a distribution, and it has to be some sort of benefit to this shareholder, other than issuing shares to the shareholder. So it's cash, or it's wavering of debt, or it's dividends. All right. So what do we know? The board authorize it because it is going to only affect the shareholders or if there's a legal or court order. Okay, but again, that would be specific in a question. So more likely, they just go ahead and authorize and then you'd need to have board authorization. How do they do that? Majority present need to vote in favor. Okay, what are the requirements? Reasonably appears that the company will satisfy the liquidity and solvency test after. Again, so after. So you're going to have to do that whole take assets and liabilities before. Go and add the reduction of your assets and the increase in your liabilities. And then get your after to see if. Total assets exceed total liabilities and current assets exceed current liabilities for your liquidity. Okay. The board has acknowledged that it applied the liquidity and solvency, so they actually have to write somewhere in the resolution that they have and they reasonably conclude that they will satisfy that. So you, if you have to test this, will then go and inspect that they have acknowledged this in their minutes. Okay, and if they don't actually complete this distribution within 120 days of the resolution, they have to redo the liquidity and solvency. So you're going to have to go and make sure that the distribution was finalized within the 120 days, otherwise they redo that. Okay. The decision remains valid even if the requirements are not met. Okay, so this is the first time we're seeing this. The requirements were not met with the others, the decision was void. But in this case, the decision is valid. However, the directors will be held liable if they were present and failed to vote against the decision. Okay, so let's look at section 46. Distributions. Company may not make any profit or proposed distribution unless... There's a legal obligation or the board authorized. What do they have to do? They must reasonably appear to satisfy liquidity and solvency after. And the board have to, by resolution, acknowledge that they did apply liquidity and solvency. If it's not carried out within 120 days, they have to redo liquidity and solvency. Okay. 
and director will be held liable if they were present and failed to vote against this decision. Okay, section 48, a company or a subsidiary acquiring the company shares. So now we're dealing with a buyback of the company shares. Okay, can't issue shares to the company. The company can buy back shares. Or the subsidiary purchases shares in the holding company. Okay, remember we just discussed how a buyback is a distribution. So all of the requirements of Section 46 are applicable. But also just to note here that not more than 10% in aggregate of the issued shares may be held by all subsidiaries together. Okay, remember we said that they could issue shares to related parties with a special resolution. But now when they bind back the shares, whatever is left in issue, not more than 10% of that total can be held by subsidiaries. Okay? They will have no voting rights with those shares and this will not be allowed if there will no longer be any shares in issue other than those held by subsidiaries. So ultimately, you're looking at a case where they had, let's say, shareholders Peter, James, and then they had their subsidiary as a shareholder. And let's say the subsidiary had 10% Peter had 60% and James had 30% of the voting rights or the shares. And what they've done is they've gone and bought back shares from Peter and from James. And so ultimately, all the subsidiaries, if they had more than one, cannot have more than 10%, okay, which would still be fine in this case. But now what's happened is that if they bought back all 60 and all 30 from Peter and James, then they only have 10 issued to the subsidiary and nothing else. And so now that can't be the case. They have to have shares that are in issue to other parties other than the subsidiaries. Okay, a company to apply to the court for an order of reversing this acquisition if these requirements are not met. So if this happens, they purchase the 60 and the 30 and they're left with just the subsidiary having issued shares, then this decision should not have happened to buy back those other shares and so they can apply to the courts to reverse that. Because the board would have been involved in this, because they were aware or, or should have been aware of these buyback situations, they could be held liable if they were present at the meeting and failed to vote against this decision. So let's have a look at class question two. For this question, guys, I will give you five minutes. 